After an extensive delay due to the pandemic, the most expensive movie ever made in Oklahoma is now filming in and around Pahuska. Streets in downtown Pahuska are being closed for filming of Killers of the Flower Moon. Filmmakers are making one street look like the 1920s. Okay, we made it to Pahuska, Oklahoma. And right over there is the set. Or the set that is being built Four Killers of the Flower Moon, the new Martin Scorsese movie. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give any spoilers or anything, but I am gonna uh, give you a brief overview of what this story is about. It's based on a book which was written about a true story. And I, don't, I didn't look way too much into it because I, I like to go into movies with a blank slate, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. But I wanted to know, you know, just a little bit of detail since we were coming here. And it's basically about some Native Americans in the Osage area of Oklahoma, able to gain wealth through the oil industry, and they start turning up missing or murdered, and the investigation leads to the creation of the FBI, and it's centered around one particularly evil man, who I don't know the name of, I don't know anything about him except that he sucked. And I know that the movie takes place in the 1920s, so that is it. Nothing that you wouldn't get from the trailer, I don't think. But let's go closer and see what we can see. Look at that. Piece of facade, piece of plywood being carried. They're not gonna film here today. You can tell because nothing is, is complete, but so cool to see this stuff. Let's get closer. We found an ally all the way out in Oklahoma. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, so in the distance you can see the set. There's a lot of California license plates, cars out here, and I know I'm gonna get kicked out like pretty quickly, so let's just get what we can get. Lots of people working, getting everything ready. Very busy morning. Working on sets. Next to the building they're painting is a little stable kind of thing they're building. So they told us we can uh, take pictures and video as long as I don't uh, go down the road, which is closed, but look there. I believe it was open in between these two, bu two buildings or the plywood they built is just a facade on existing buildings. Maybe that one right there is definitely a facade. Crew is all here. I can't wait to come back here and actually like compare the shots or even just see a trailer. I wonder if this is like, now the budget for this movie is 200 million. Paramount was financing it and then they were like, uh, 200 million, I don't know about that. So Apple TV Plus came in to save the day. And uh, that makes me wonder if this is just like a lot of detail done for the background or if there's actually a lot of prominent stuff going on here. I'm sure there's plenty of scenes filmed on this street though. We can't walk down the street, he told us, but we're gonna walk around uh, this block and go to the other side. I think the train station set that they've built is over there and we'll get another angle of the street. Here's the back side of that street. There's a facade on this building, which is kind of falling apart and has no roof. They put this up, and this is what it looks like from behind. Here's another angle directly from behind. I don't want to cross the, uh, the cone line here, but pretty cool to see. I mean, this building, the back and the top are completely gone. You just got brick walls, so they are taking us back to the 1920s, so they got to put the facades up. We found a little side street where the boundary kind of allows us to go right into the middle of things. Um, you can see this town looks pretty uh, authentic already. It's just aged, of course, since the 1920s. So you gotta fill in a few details like this. I think it's probably clear they're not gonna be shooting here today because uh, these facades are still just blank plywood. 
Yeah, let me go over here. Here's a man on a bike. I'm not gonna cross anything, don't worry. You can see more that way. Fresh produce, that looks like they probably painted that for the movie, but I'm not sure. I'll look on Google Street View. Peter Hardware. Here's some more. Got some roofers up here. Tarring the roof or whatever you call it. I think they're just actually roofers. I don't know if they're related to the production, but um, let's go around. I think the train station set is around this way. We've been walking down this alley. Well, it's not really an alley, but it's behind sort of the main strip where they're filming. And we just keep looking to the left and seeing cool things. And so far, everyone's been cool with me walking around with my big camera. Haven't said anything. There's some guys working on the back of this facade. Doing some drilling, it sounds like. And this is the end of their little uh, strip that they've made. So I'm gonna walk around there and get the opposite angle down the street. And here we are looking down the set. Looks like they're covering up this more modern looking building. This is gonna be so awesome. I really hope Pawhuska is one of those towns that like asks them to leave up certain things like window paint and anything that can be left up. Obviously you can't leave the facades up, but they're just so cool. There are lots of old timey vehicles being used for this production. I saw on Twitter, but I think this one was probably already here because this grass under the tires. So according to local news, they're gonna use this building, the Osage Laundry Building, for a blacksmith shop. They said specifically the parking lot. So I guess they're gonna build um, a blacksmith shop somewhere in this parking lot, maybe in front of the building. Who knows how prominent it's gonna be in the movie, but to give you uh, an idea of where we are, we are just a little bit down from all the commotion from the set building going on over there. Hopefully this makes it into the movie because this is the most specific location info I have right now. Now, I was wrong. The train station set is not over here at the end. But I saw on Twitter that there has been a train from Reno, Nevada brought here for the movie. So I gotta find that train. See all the way down there, kind of the, uh, the end of that street that they're working on. That's a building they were painting red earlier when we were over there. Uh, we've come a couple blocks in this direction. Looks like maybe they're, I don't know, this could just be renovations to the building, but looks like they're trying to match the color scheme for this building, which could end up in the background of shots taken here, which is a train station set. They built this for the movie. It says Fairfax on it. We're not in Fairfax yet. Uh, these trains were brought in from Nevada a few days ago and they built some track. Look, it ends right here. I think there used to be a train that came through this town, but it's, it's not anymore. And this is what they've built. So I can't wait to see what happens here. All right, found a closer spot here. We're uh, like in the corner of this neighborhood. Um, but if you walk over here, you can see where the train station stood. If this is torn down afterwards and you want to come out and visit, 
This is where it is. It's behind this Allen Brothers building. And where that thing's standing. Fairfax train station. Looks really cool. I love the colors. And there's those trains. I don't see the front. Oh, there it is. All the way down there. Man, I want to get close to that. There's a guy in it. Again, all this was brought in or built. There is no train station here in Pawhuska. This is kind of funny. Uh, in preparation for Robert De Niro coming to town, they're showing one of his absolute classics, The War with Grandpa, at the Constantine Theater. found another set from the movie and nobody's here so I can kind of go up to it. It's got these cones in front of it. It just rained. And they were filming here yesterday and they covered the streets with dirt. So now there's this red mud everywhere. That's actually how we were able to find this spot thanks to Twitter. But this church is supposed to be an old-timey 1920s Catholic Church. I don't know what its significance in the movie is, but it's going to be in it. Or at least they film scenes here, assuming they don't get cut. I'm kind of curious to see if we can see anything through these windows. That will kind of give us a clue as to whether they filmed anything inside. Okay, yeah, there's pews in there. This may actually just be a church. But they were filming here. Or at least outside of here. Thank you, Martin Scorsese. All right, I'm a little confused because I don't know if this is an actual church or not. There's no street view on the street, but there is an aerial satellite image on Google Earth, and the shape is the same. But it really looks like it's freshly painted. You can see the back there is a different color. Uh, but they definitely filmed over here. All this dirt is where they covered the road. And just a couple of days ago, they had all these old cars out here sitting on the street. I should collect some of this dirt. But it's actually mud right now, which is probably why they're not filming. All right, guys, sorry for the abrupt ending. I didn't know what else we'd be able to find, and I just completely forgot to film and outro but yeah it's something a little different today when we were filming the twister video i knew scorsese was out there filming on location with leo and robert de niro so i had to stop and see what i could and now the more research i'm doing into the making of the movie the more excited i'm getting about it it looks like it's going to be absolutely incredible and i'm kind of jealous that i wasn't there long enough to be an extra or something in the background or to see them actually filming scenes uh, but if you'd like to follow the behind the scenes as it's happening, check out Osage News on Twitter. That's kind of what I used to find all the spots. Used a few of their pictures in the video. They've been doing great uh, coverage on the making of the movie. So I highly recommend following them on Twitter. I'll link it below. Again, that is Osage News. We will be back in a couple weeks with our regular programming, visiting locations for movies that have actually been released already. And here's a hint for the next one. It's the greatest sports movie of all time. Period. Full stop. And I cannot wait to share it with you. I also want to say a huge thanks to everyone that has joined the ride and subscribed so far. The day I posted the Twister video, we were at like 171 subscribers. And now we are around the 740 mark. The reaction to that video was amazing. And we are completely overwhelmed by the positive response to it. And if you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.